<laughs> it is. You've already figured it out. That's not good for me. <laughs> well, that's the campaign, Sturge. guys. Sturge. <laughs> we can't beat him. It's it's overpowered, and there's nothing we can do. All right. Uh, so Hagen on the southern shore attempts to strike uh, Rainer, and I'm going to guess misses. Because the highest was a 13. We are up to Bishop. Uh, Bishop is going to ignore that invincible crab and do something <laughs> about this mortal fish person that can be stopped. Uh, no, that dice rolled shit for me. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, 18. 18 hits it. Uh, nine damage to this guy. Okay. And this guy's looking pretty rough, right? What was the, uh, what did you do to hit? Uh, this was, uh, a fire, firebolt. The blast that I the firebolt blast out of my finger finger guns. Okay. Um, uh, I finger I finger blasted him <laughs> <laughs> okay you fingered uh, him. yeah as the impact uh, hits the Sahagan the flames erupt around his body and he falls over onto the shore burning but down who who which one are we oh. talking about here uh, one of the ones up top. This nice. guy. Nice. The one that is now gone. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I'll How many corpses are littered this on this beach? One, two, three, four, five, six. Twelve. Just asking Hell, yeah. for no reason. Yeah. I'll like put my arm underneath this guy and try and like get ready to usher him off. Actually, I was right here. Uh, can I like move him out? Like start evacuating him? I got like, uh, right here. Well, I if you have... got, if you had gotten to him and you were opening him up, he would say, uh, "Get me to the ship." To this ship? Yeah. Uh, I still have movement, right? Yes, you would be moving at half movement. If you're carrying him, but if you're helping him, then you would be moving at normal, just beside him. Uh, I'll help him and move him. Well, I have Expeditions Retreat on. So oh, I you do? Correct. Yeah, still, yeah, it's the last 10 minutes. I'll get boots. Yeah, uh, you probably have enough movement to either carry him there or kind of help them there. Yeah, I'll take him to the boat. I right. carry him and place and like rush speed, put him on the boat, lie him down. It's like, all right, there you are. There you are. Back to it. Back to it for me. And I stand at the edge of the boat, aiming my gun at my uh, finger gun. It hits this guy. And that's the end of my turn. All right. As you uh, bring him up on the boat, uh, the older man who's kind of uh, prepping these sails yells at Kajori to get his lazy ass off on his feet and help me prep the boat. The man's been assaulted by a fish. Give him a second. Slave owner you are. That's the lives on this seas. The hog and attack all the time. And Kajori kind of looks up and says, yeah, it's true. I'm but pretty can we sure wait until the um, healer gets sure here? It's I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Sahu again. Sahu <laughs> again. Sahu again. You must it's be one not. of those learned folk then. Sahuagin. Oh, you'll make Sahuagin. me blush. All right. Uh, so that's up to Rainer now. Sahu again. Rainer stabs with a longsword. Mm -hmm. That's a I 21. Heard... I heard dad, but I know you said step. Dad's with a long sword. He dads so 
hard. Twelve damage. Take my long oh. sword and I dab. <laughs> I thought you said dab, and then I thought yeah. you said dads, and <laughs> and how you dad oh. with a sword. I'm going all what? over the place. Take it away. Whatever you do with that long sword, you've managed to slice into this uh, Sahulgan's gut, and he falls and joins his compatriots to bloody the water around your feet. Uh, and with that, I get a little shiver. I get a, a ooh, feels good. He's stabbing with a sword. Look at him. Ooh, feels good. And I'm going to take uh, five health back. Hell yeah. Okay. Nice. Ooh, that was. That's a thing. What are you? <laughs> Am I supposed to be this turned on? Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jen oh, must be stopped. <laughs> I mean, they're just fish, guys. right? We don't have to care about these people things, right? They're fish. Yeah, they're not even on the. They're not even on that. Dude. They don't exist. I mean, Justin's just a cat. If you want to just start hey. using that that kind of word. Uh oh. I mean, yeah, language. yeah, you're right. That's true. You're right. It's about the these same. Are, these but we are don't eat cats. Just we eat fish. But they're, you, you don't, don't eat Sahawin or Sagwin. Damn it! They're Why big, I, I'm Sahuagin. Sahuagin. They're big I'm, fish. I'm not sure how much of this is in versus out of character, but <laughs> if you mention eating swag, and my character will reflexively say as if reading from a textbook in her mind um well, actually i believe that uh what was it brass dragons think swag and are delicious and are a decent <laughs> substitute for sharks or was that copper dragon okay i'm gonna roll insight to um, see if you're actually. real <laughs> <laughs> okay that was a 14 are you a figment of my imagination last i checked i certainly hope not you guys are just having a fucking party down at the beach, getting murdered by a crab. <laughs> All right, Jen, it's your turn. My turn? Yep. All right, my character is going to uh, thank um, the satyr, uh, Apigar. It's like, your name's Apigar, right? Thank you for backing me up, even if it was putting yourself in danger. And then I'll go ahead and take the dash action. Go one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Run all the way to port. See, help. You guys need any help up here? Yes. On my way. After I, I get my breath. That's my turn. Okay. The armor's really heavy, guys. Just give me a minute. <laughs> I thought it was ceremonial. It's still made of real metal. Oh. Oh. Uh, All right. I don't think I have any issues. All right. Uh, okay, the CL to... swings at the crab and misses. Oh my god, this fucking crab. The crab swings at Nono and hits. Barely does any damage, but your uncle is now caught in the vice-like grips of the crab as well. No! <clears throat> Half yeah, or... Okay. All right. Half work does some damage to this crab. Down here. Uh, the Sahuagin runs forward, uh, finds a dwarf, and swings and misses horribly unless you've taken damage already. I have not taken a single damage this entire encounter. Okay, then you're safe. Um, How the... much damage did he do, though? Huh? How much damage did he do? He didn't do any damage. Oh, okay. He missed. Uh, so, so again, uh get an uh, advantage. Their blood frenzy kicks in. Uh, uh, cool. Let's see. Not, not for us, but cool. The cleric uh, is going to um, reach out to you, Mog, and mm -hmm. say, 
Uh, my name is Aurelio. Um, let um, Palor Slight heal you. Oh. Okay. Um, you get 10 points of healing because he rolled an 8. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, you can't add his stuff. Oh, oh thank God. All right. Uh, last thing. She's going to be giant, isn't she? Nope, she's not. Cool. One, two, three, four. Oh. Five, what's happening? Six. What's what's that? What? Who is this? Coming <clears throat> out of the boat. Call my hair real quick. Ooh. Zoom in all the way. All right, Nala. I see you, Nala. There you go. Oh my, dice. oh my god. All right, Justin, how you feel about that there? I'm into it. It's okay. I'm, this is okay. I like it. <laughs> You've awoken something in Justin. <laughs> <laughs> it's that headband, uh, dude. I don't know. Uh, I don't like I this is say, going weird direction. I just <laughs> say yes. As she steps out onto the dock, she levels a metallic tube at the crab, and a loud crack of thunder is heard. As she shoots him, it, it, it kills it. Yes. Human fucking gun. Rock, paper, scissors, gun. And oh she yells, hey. wave chaser crew, get on the boat now. Anybody else who wants to live, hurry. I mean, I think we got this, right? Like, we're... <laughs> Are we... Mog, Mog is in love, and he's going to get on that boat. All right. All right, so that's that's everybody there. So we're up to Abgar. Hey. Did someone say boat party? Or friend. That guy's a party girl. <laughs> it's in my nature. She's like belongs on a yacht. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go up to this crab. I'm gonna use a dash action so I can't do anything else. And that's it. It's a movement on my suit. Oh my god, a rich person with a boat? Let me get on. I'm like, yeah. All right. Yeah. Mom, uh, you're up now. Um, Mog is going to uh, <clears throat> collect himself because a lot of stuff just happened. He had a real just brutal, visceral, like, animal fight with this fucking crab that he was losing desperately. And then it just got blasted away by this <clears throat> just this vision of a cat. <laughs> of a tabaxi, whatever, that Mog is into. And he does a lot of thinking. He's like, you know, I think this is it. And he he says, he, he's talking, you know, in his cat language to, no, no, no. And he's like, I don't, he's like, no, no, I can't be a clown for the rest of my life. I think this is my time. And I think I have to chase my light. And, and he takes off. And uh, I guess no, no. That's probably like oh fuck, or something. He says something. He's probably third, halfway third into it, half not. It's his uncle. Third girl this week. Your character had a character yeah. arc in the first session. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I had to. I have a whole family. Yeah. Right. He even has a love letter from somebody else he's been keeping. He he crumples that on in his pocket as he walks, runs over to her. A letter from just an admirer. Okay. Or the, uh, you know, Bard starter kit. Wait, wait, no, he does that. He does that. But then he also goes to the stage. Uh, underneath the stage, he, like, reaches underneath, and there's this big-ass trunk. And it's his trunk. And he grabs that first. And then he runs over to the lady. Okay. How big is the trunk? Uh, It's just like a bag. It's not of a bag. It's a trunk. Okay. Is all this happening during combat? This is my turn. Yeah, this is his turn. I love this story. I like yeah, it. I love yeah, it. you do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, I want to be with this cat person. 
Okay, uh, that's Mog's turn. Uh, I'll... So, Bishop. Uh, Brian, were you expecting that, by the way? Hmm? Were you expecting things to turn that way? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I actually expected some of these things to live longer and the crabs to die a lot sooner. No, I mean, like, the running on the boat. Oh, the running on the boat thing, yeah. Uh... <laughs> awesome. Not uh, in you said, way. come on. Not in this way, but yeah. Okay. Um, it's a sexy um, cat pirate. What are we, what are we gonna do? What, what's the other? It. What other outcome is there? Uh, does yeah. this boat Watch look exit like the the guy that I saved and the Tabaxi and like the the three people that I've seen on here? Do they look wealthy? Do they look rich? Do they look like they have money? Make a perception check. I'll make that on the perception check. Good to hear. Three. Hmm. How do I want to play this? High or low? Low. They look like they have had a lot of money come through their hands. You can see the gold on the beard of the uh, the white-haired man. You can see the rings on the, uh, the tabaxi captain. Um, okay. The man who's nearly dead is wearing nicer silks and clothing. Uh, okay. I will lean off the front of the ship, aim my, gun, aim my uh, hand pistol, my hand cannon. Hand cannon. That's what it's called now. Hand cannon. <laughs> Yeah, he shoots, aims his hand cannon at uh, uh, the crab. Why not? Okay. Uh, 19 plus stuff. That hits. Uh, four damage to the crab. Me. Okay. As you release yet another blast of arcane fire magic at another living creature, you see it explode into the back of the carapace, leaving a large hole in it uh, as it falls down. To the yeah, ground. kill a crab. Nice. All right. I like, look back at the guy that I saved. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? I killed. I got one. <laughs> oh God, that's a lot of blood. Let me help you. Uh, oh, just turn over to him. That's <laughs> it. All right, uh, Rainer, you're up. I'm pretty far away. Um, Rainer may just enjoy this last chance to have a nice walk on the beach. Um, <laughs> that's gonna be thirty feet. Um. He's just talking with Chance as he walks. <laughs> um, he gives a little high five and gets a little high five back from from the ferret, from the rodent. And um, how? Oh, he's gonna throw a knife. There we go. <laughs> oh, a knife! <laughs> it's all obvious to you. He goes Fuck sneak attack. <laughs> <laughs> Sixteen. He he hits. Okay. That's, that's five damage. Is it a damage. sneak attack? Is that what you're doing? No, he just says that. It's, it's not. Five damage. He, says, he, yells, he yells it out loud. And that's his catchphrase. As he says, I so. Sneak attack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your dagger hits the uh, Sahagan square in the back and is stuck there now. Um, Damn it. Didn't fall to the ground. Damn it. So you didn't. I have to look for it later. I'm but... sorry, that's a bad word. That's a bad word. I said a bad word. <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, I keep losing daggers this way. I, you know, you throw knives at people, and you lose more knives this way. It's ridiculous. Okay, I'll have to get that one back. Uh, Jin, your turn. Um, I'll yell to the boat um, that... Uh, I'm afraid I still have business to attend to here, so I can't exactly get. But uh, feel free to evacuate. You're breaking up. 
Sorry. You're breaking uh, up. I couldn't hear you. I don't know why he keeps doing that. All right. I'll yell to the boat. But, uh, feel free to collect as many people as possible. I can't join you. I have business on this island still. I'll try to uh, clear a path for everyone else. All right? Give a thumbs up. Uh, DM, is that a crab or a This right here? Uh, I meant this right here. That is a half orc that has been helping you kill things. You racist? Thank you. I (laughs) couldn't tell because I don't have it zoomed in. (laughs) Bigotry takes many forms. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I was raised by an elf, but whatever. Yeah, Yeah, okay. Um, I'm just glad somebody else. Okay, yeah, it looks way better. I zoomed in now. Um, seems like almost everything's taken care of except this flogging right here. I guess I'll smack the swoggin. Perfect alley oop. Uh, That's a swoggin. Sahoogin. Uh, does 19 hit? 19 hits? Nice. Yeah. Alright, so it will be 6 damage, 2 of which is fire. Alright. Alright, right. Sorry, continue. The Sahugan stands strong in the face of all the damage that has been dealt by you and others. He's not looking happy. He looks very unhappy. But he stands there still. Last chance to run away, I'd say, as I smack him across the face. End of turn. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is it still... St- uh, it's- the it still stands. Sahugan coughs up blood and runs away. Chokes out a phrase in partial common. The island sinks. You all die. That's why we got a boat. And then he swipes at... Uh, at Eugen. And misses. <laughs> He's exhausted. He swings down his uh, spear trident weapon and just kind of buries the spear points into the sand and leans against it. Uh, the island sinks. Uh, uh, the captain goes back yeah. on the boat. Uh, I think people need to start making their way towards the boat. The cleric runs, using all the movement and dash to get up onto the boat. Uh, to yeah, take we don't... care of the wounded. Uh, he uses all his movement to get up there. Um, we need to warn everyone, and we can evacuate everyone. Uh, let's see. We don't know this, but the bridge is out, right? Looks like. Yeah, your characters don't know that unless somebody wants to make a an perception check. Um, well, I don't know. Did I hear the Sagwin say that? Uh, no. <laughs> Eleven. You're, you don't see where they went, but they went up here. It joins down here, and he doesn't want to leave either. They've made it up here. The poor farmer never left. He went over here. Okay, um, back up to Apgar. Oh, it's going to uh, sink. As the round starts, the island shakes more violently, and the water rises higher on the shoreline. Everybody who is on the island make a dexterity save, and Mog, who is on the dock. Fourteen. Fourteen saves. Sixteen. Sixteen saves. Eighteen. Oh. Eighteen saves. I rolled a six. 
That fills. <laughs> the character's kind of a clot. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, Mont Blanc falls down on the stage. Nono falls into the sand. Patriarch succeeds. The, I guess, matriarch of the family succeeds. The patriarchy succeeds. That person falls. Talking in your sleep again, Rob. Wait, is my is my thing on? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Yep. <laughs> falls into water. Falls into water. Okay, yep, there we go. That's everybody who failed. All right. Do you think it's time for everyone to get on the boat now? Okay, your turn. One more attack. The 23 to hit? 23 hits. Four damage. Ooh, uh, that is just enough. What are you attacking with? My rapier. Right right okay. Um, you slide your blade into the base of its neck as it's leaning forward on its um, spear, and it just falls forward. And All righty. I'm and going to... Um, get my dagger back since Rob threw it into it. And I wanted the spear. The spear's there too, so you can pick that up. Alrighty. And then I will make my way to the boat. Oh, I'll help Jen up. Oh no, friend. Little friend. Uh, I'll accept the help up, but um, I don't get on the boat quite yet, just because um, I came to the island to meet with someone I need to not only save as many lives as possible, but I definitely need to save the life of this scholar before I go. Sure thing. Get right. away to the boat. Boat party. I, I'll, I guess since if we're out of combat, I'll run around town um, shouting for a Tululi Silverbeard, wherever he might be, and ushering every single person I run across on the way to get on the boat, or get on a boat. Okay, I run back to the bar. <laughs> and you're that you're the guy in Jurassic Park, in Jurassic World who grabbed the margarita as, as the pterodactyls were attacked. I grab a coconut um, tequila mix and a knife mm -hmm. and come running back. <laughs> Um, and I throw a dead ferret onto the boat as I climb up, and it just hits the deck like a wet rag. Wow. And I climb up. Mog, Mog shakes his head at this. Uh, but he th he's going to throw his, his trunk onto the boat and like look longing, longingly at the captain. But then uh, he looks back to the island, and like, so like his sisters and grandma have, does, they're going to, they're going to, Try to cross the little channel there into the beach. He could probably see mainland? what's happening from the boat. Yeah, you're high enough. They, up. they weren't aware that the bridge was out when they ran over. Here. So I don't trapped. know. I feel like I should try to get them. Like, Grandma shouldn't try to escape a sinking island onto another beach, even if there's people on the other side. I think. Well, it's a good thing that you chose a hot cat woman instead. <laughs> Well, I didn't. I didn't. Not yet. So I'm saying here, and then yeah, they're all g going over there to save them. That I, I mean, I want to go over there too. I mean, I gotta save them, and I guess try to get them on the boat because they're not gonna want to get wet. They're like me. Do they have? Do you think we have enough time to try and like usher them across over here to get on the boat? Make My a perception fast. check. All of us. Anybody who wants to figure out if you have enough time. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Four. With blind sight. Okay. You notice that the... Um, well, uh, a lot of you did pretty well. Some of you did not. Okay, anybody who got above a 15 notices that the island's tremors are picking up speed, uh, and you think that maybe at best you have three minutes before the island sinks. Wow. That should be enough time to 
maybe. Well, well, my character that. Does, does, that, does my character find the professor in her panic running about trying to... Are you yelling out to the professor or the uh, the archivist as you're um, searching? Yes, I'm running around yelling his name. When I come across any NPC, I direct them towards the boat. Okay. Um, I go that way, and I continue running. Where have you ran to so far? Um, I was supposed to meet him at the bar, so I guess I'll start there. But from there, I kind of run around in a circle around the island. Do you uh, run towards the bridge first, or do you run over towards this side first? Uh, one moment, let me zoom out. Yeah, you uh, have the top part up here, or way over here? I'm all, given that, like, I'm already starting from the boat area, I guess I'll run around. Like, so, that would be my trajectory. Okay, so you're going to move up this way and kind of... Yeah, uh, direct yeah. everyone. Everyone. All right, if you're, oh, yeah. All right, if you're if you're yelling out as soon as you get up to this area, um, you you see in the water. Oh shit! No, 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 no! Oh, oh no! Shark. Uh, you see three reef sharks and a sahagan in the water. Uh, I jump. I uh, jump off the boat. If, uh, well, do I? Do I? Do we hear screaming and stuff? You do hear screaming, but you've heard screaming the entire time because the island is sinking. Shit. Uh, I do anything. All right. Uh, it, you also hear in your head uh, the voice of an elderly um, person, uh, Jin. I'm on the other shore. Um, I hadn't made it to the island yet. I am helping I'll, on this side. Uh, if you can get these people off, I can meet you in Port de Mali. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll meet you at the port. I'll try to save as many people as I can here. I will proceed to, um, as much as I hate getting myself all soaking wet and, you know, how much it's going to be a pain to clean the armor later, I'm already soaking wet, so I'm going to dive into the water, and I'm going to pull a reckless teenager and punch some shark. I will tell you one thing before you dive into the water. The shore right. on this side is um, about a 10-foot drop. Uh, will I take fall damage from diving into the water? Hammer first. Hmm. Do we want to bring science into this? No. Oh, boom. Oh, and, 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 then yes, you will take uh, fall damage. I have rope. <laughs> I'm going to toss out a line of rope. No. With and Are try and pull them in. With the rest of the people helping. Um, just whip rope out, super speed. Okay, just well, I guess, out and ready guess, to grab. I guess if we are doing that, I'll take half my movement to climb ten feet down and swim at the shark's breath. Are so. you in the water? Yeah, I wish okay. to get into the water and punch sharks. Fucking wrestling sharks. Hey, can I can I tell my family to leave and get on the boat and not die? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna that. tell them all that, and we should all use our feline agility together to get on the boat. All right. Uh, yeah, I forgot about. That just basically means you get to run for a turn, stop for a double turn, movement, turn. stop, and then book. Double it. movement, free action. Yeah, and we'll we'll, we'll, we'll all defend. I'll move all your cats over this far, so that way you can move them around. Who, out of, who, who in the water looks the strongest? Who, well, who looks the weakest in the water right now? They all look pretty weak. Uh, uh, what you see is a little halfling. Mm -hmm. An old lady. Aww. And a <laughs> no. halfling. <laughs> no. Okay, I'll save the first two. But... Is that a tan goblin? 
That was a, <laughs> that was a farmer halfling. <laughs> no, that that guy looks like fucking Chucky. No, I'm not rescuing him. Uh, uh, Trey's I, terrified of Chucky. From this from this side from this side, you see as that's been going on, you see a blur as I've cast Expeditious Retreat on me again, and that cloak that I've been wearing that's clipped here unclips and reveal that it's just unfurled wings and I'm flying towards the uh, towards the water okay. and I'm just gonna scoop someone up. Like mechanical yeah. wings? Like like gar like gargoyles. Like like gargoyle. Like a gay gargoyle. grandma. Gay grandma. Yes. My new just... friend is a fairy. Oh someone from the water. I got you. <laughs> yeah. Um, I saw, I saw I, you standing next to me. I just saw invincible. I just saw invincible. Yeah, I'll do the invincible thing and try and uh, grab the grandmother. Okay. And fly and fly out right. towards the boat. I will let you figure out where you're going to land. Um, but as people are coming over here, I'm going to have to have everybody start doing initiative now because these sharks are hungry. It is almost ten. Should we save this for part two? What? Uh, Forty-nine. You could actually finish this pretty quickly if you do things right. Yeah. All right. All let's right. roll initiative. Sixteen. That's some players doing things right. Twenty-one. Horribly optimistic of you. I have to be optimistic. Oh, they rolled twice for some I, reason. Well, I believe in us. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Hey, your dex is probably higher. You can. A little bit. Mute it. Eight. 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 All right. All right, Bishop, you're up. Uh, this has been did, a fun character. Uh, Justin's dex is probably higher than mine. Okay, Justin, you're up. Actually, what is uh, your what dex? Uh, sixteen plus three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah apparently, the D and D Beyond Combat Tracker doesn't take those into consideration. Noob. Um. Yeah, we're just. I'm trying to save all the cats in my life. All right. So you're going to use your turn to corral herd cats to the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Wow. Wow. Right, so what is your movement? If you're doing a line? Like some of them uh, kind of go off towards other directions and you're like, no, well, I should have been able to move. Well, I should have been able to move 120 feet and then zero feet and then another 120 feet if we can all dash. Okay. Holy shit. Actually, uh, yeah, dash can stack with feline agility, though I would like yeah. to point out. Dude, well, of course it does. It changes my speed. It makes my speed double and then I use my speed twice to dash. 120 yeah. feet. But I'm I'd gone, like to point dude. out. Gone. You can just Instead of moving zero feet the next turn, you can just continue to dash not as fast. So you could go 120 feet and then go 60 feet. I have to move zero feet on one of my turns to do it again. Correct. But I'm saying you could just not recharge feline agility, use it once for 120 feet, and then just stack a bunch of 60 feet movement on top of it. Yeah. No, as soon as you... No, it's not mandatory. I played to backseats before. I know how the ability works. Give me to the boat. All right. So yeah, with your feline agility, you all this one because it's only ninety feet away from you. So you can you go ahead and leave yeah. your character there. So they're on a boat. All yeah, right. We just really didn't want to get wet, and I didn't want anything bad to happen to Grandma. Bishop. Maybe they could have made the swim. I don't know. Bishop, your turn. Uh, I drop the my grandma that I'm holding here, <laughs> and I will grab the other person and bring them back here. Okay. Out of the water. All right. And just tell and tell both of them. Oh uh, well, language. Uh, accent. Fuck. Uh. <laughs> Get to the shore. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, reef shark. I'm oh, sorry. Get to, get to the boat. Hurry now. Don't dawdle. 
Governor. Detective. All right, you're showing me. There we go. Reef Shark is going to bite at the halfling girl next to Jin. I would like to try to wedge myself in as if possible. All right, I'll let it count as a disadvantage then. Oh, cool. Uh, it still hits, though. Oh, man. Um, there, we go. there we go. Nope. There we go. Um, I don't remember commoner stats. Commoner. Um, four HP across the board. Four HP across the board? Oh, she is... Barely alive. Fuck. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Personally, I give commoners 6 HP, so that way they can, you know, at least have a wizard hit dice, but that is... Okay. <laughs> well, I'm fine with that, too, but she's still at half her health. She's barely alive. I know. Uh, shark number two is going to swim and uh, swipe at you. That's fine. And is going to miss. As its teeth try to bite metal and fails miserably. All right. Uh, shark number three is going to swim over towards the shore and snap at people who are getting out of the water and miss because they're out of the water. So how again? Nope, not it's Logan. It's Apgar. Okay, I'm gonna throw a rope out. Okay. Do the halfling. Try to reel her in. Alright. It'd be rude not to. Okay, yeah. Um, she manages to grab the rope tight, despite her failing wounds right now. Um, wow. If you want to use kind of like the aid action to kind of help her up, she's able to get up on. Oh, actually, even without that, she's able to climb the rope that you're holding because she got a natural twenty on her save. Nice. Awesome. Or check, I guess. Uh, so you got the wounded halfling who did not disengage, but did not get hit. Yay. <laughs> Commoners don't know smart enough to disengage. Okay. And I realized my words were horrible. When Classist. Uh, that's a who again. No, uh, Jen, sorry. You just really want these fish people to go, don't you? So I'm going to have to say. I'm going to smack me some shark. I'm like. I've been criticized. I've been telling people not to do this all day. Uh, whoa, hold on. What? You decide to disengage and get back on the shore? <laughs> no, 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 no. Right. No, 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 no. Twice again, and I'm so annoyed because the second roll is a nat 20, unless I just click this wrong. Oh, wow. Well. But the, the first one is a 5, so nothing interesting. That would have been cool to have a yeah. nat. That's a natural one. Oh shit, uh, you're right. I didn't notice that. High or low? Dang, one in a 20, dude. That is fucked up. Uh, what was it? High low? Uh, I said high. Oh. High, okay, cool. Uh, you managed to keep a hold of your war, uh, your swing. Veers too far to the side and just smashes right into the water. Although technically rolling twice is a good thing because I think in water com combat you get disadvantage. Unless you have uh, a swing speed, so. I forgot about that roll. Um, all right. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm going to just hold the line till the back line over here kind of clears a bit more after, like, people are more safe. Um, I, I do ask, um, uh, what's her name again? Um, I do ask, uh, 
the professor. Oscar, can you secure the ropes? I have a way out after uh, everyone clears up a bit. Sure thing. All right. I hope to see you again in the future, Professor, under better circumstances. I assume. Cool. Uh, Rainier, Rainer, sorry. Okay, I rolled I why I read that four story. on insight. Um, I am convinced that there's something horrible, horrible in the water. Um, coming sure. to get us all, and I think I'm going to run back to the boat. <laughs> it would be rude not to. It's a dash. Yeah. Um, and I, th- I want to say that I'm seeing, uh, what, what, what would I be seeing that isn't there, DM? Okay. Um, let me get a thing in mind real quick. Hey, where's your, where's your table? Where's your D100 where's table for acid? talked about. Yeah, there's right. a D- D100 table for acid trips. We're, As you stare into the water, you begin to see the slithering movements of a large serpent with eyes along its back and sides. Okay, that's good. All enough for eyes to turn yeah. and it stare straight at you as you begin to back away. Uh, this keeps happening. This keeps happening. All right. All and, right. Uh, I go back to the boat. All right. Um, the shark hunters from earlier uh, guide the people up here away. And they all get basically about right there. And we're back up to the top with Mog and Bishop. Mog, you're... Uh, uh, I should be on the boat uh, just, you know, doing a lot of... Well, not explaining, I guess, because it's all emergency stuff. So yeah. probably just getting everybody situated to make sure everybody's cool. All right. Uh, I... Bishop? Bishop is going to grab fly speed is still 30. I'm going to grab Actually, expeditious retreat would boost your fly speed too. That I know that means it's 60. That's, that's what I was, I was measuring out 60, Yeah, but I would still only get like right there. Uh, Oh, because you're carrying somebody? Yeah. Rules is written. Um, it allows you to take the dash action as a bonus action. If the DM is cool, you could argue for taking the dash as an action and bonus action, but I don't know how your DM feels about I'm double that. DM's right there. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm okay. I, I don't. I don't. I'm not. I, to be 100% honest, my guy's not that invested. He's going to try, but is he can fly. This is not really a problem for him. Yeah, well, he might. He'll save as many people as he can. He'll grab uh one person. Uh, uh, lady that was in the water. Yeah, he'll grab that that one. Okay. Lady that was in the water. The tracker guy. He oh. was kind of an idiot. The shark the hunter. Shark oh, hunter lady. Okay. Yeah, she so was you want this lady. Yeah, she was about. Well, they're like, are they like directing traffic? They are kind of, yeah. But okay, as everybody's grab, getting up to this I'll, point, I'll grab one of the people. Boat. Yeah, I'll grab one of the commoners. I'll grab okay. no, uh, grandma. I'll grab grab the grandmother. She she seems older and okay. She wanted to be able to run as fast. Yeah, I'll grab her and book it. All right. Over here. All right. Cool. Uh. Shark attempts to bite a dwarf in armor and fails. Reef Shark attempts to bite a dwarf in armor and succeeds. 20 to hit. Does three piercing damage. Bare minimal. But it sunk its teeth in somebody finally. You're like a reverse crap. 
Or Red. just a crab. I finally got hit. Yeah, you got hit unless you can stop a 20 to hit you. Ah, uh, no, that's two more than what I can stop. All right. Um, uh, so you took three points of damage, and Apgar, you're up. All right. Uh, I will secure the rope to this post and toss it back to Jen and then make my way back to the boat. Okay. How far can I get? Here. Okay. The little halfling is going to follow you. And then run a little bit further to about right here. Uh, Jen, you're up. You have two sharks around you, and you got a rope in front of you. Am I the last one in the water? Yes, you are. Other than the sharks and the Sahag Sahagin. Yeah, but I'm not as sold on touching it as I indicated earlier. Um, <laughs> did the is the rope still there left yeah. by the? There. All right. Yeah. I'm going to take the disengage action and use my movement. One, two, three, four, five to climb out of the water. Okay. And, right. um, yeah, I'll just, I'll watch my back, obviously, but I'll yeah. be behind everyone else in the evacuation. Now that everybody's out of the water, um, combat can end and if somebody wants to jump back into the water for some reason. <laughs> No, uh, I'm constantly, I'm just constantly flying to the boat, flying back out, grabbing someone, flying back to the boat. All right. Um, if at any point uh, he happens to grab me, um, if he makes any comments about my weight, I blame the armor. Well, he would not make comments about your weight. <laughs> okay, good. Glad we established that. All right, so it takes you close to the time limit to get everybody onto the boat. Um, you worked pretty quickly, and the boat was finally able to pull away from the shore just as the island began to sink. Dang. Wow. Uh, Wait, am I on the see. boat? Is this one it? How crowded is this boat? Like, I'm Did I miss the boat? Uh, no, everybody should be on it now. No, she decided <laughs> not to get on the boat. Hope everybody got their trunks full of stuff. I mean, All like, right, no, so I've been packed in light, but that's because I was told to by my dad. Oh! So, sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. That's uh, fine. Um, yeah, how many people per room? I imagine this ship is not typically designed to evacuate a whole island. So I imagine that roommates and doubling up and whatnot. There's barely any room and people will be sleeping on the deck as well as in the hold. The rooms are already spoken for by the crew. But the sea elf is willing to share with a few people because he's nice. Cool like that. Yeah. He's new to the ship and he feels like he's still kind of the bottom line. Well, All right. Was I able to grab the the construct that I first talked to at the merchant's place? Uh, roll uh, a d20. Um, a move? Uh, intelligence or wisdom. Uh, something to basically remember that that thing was there in the panic. I feel like my character is a lot smarter than me, and I just remembered. Um, quick question. What port did the scholar specifically say? I know my character remembers, but I forgot the exact name. Uh, port de Mali. I'll ask the captain where the current travel plan is. Uh, well, uh, first trade G. What did you roll? Nine. Oh. You did not remember it until you saw the island sink below the shore, the ocean top. Look at that sweet robot. 
No. All right. Um, Damn it. The captain yells at you as you all get on the boat. Um, you've all done pretty well to survive that. Welcome aboard the Wave Chaser. We have much to discuss about the sinking island and the treasure we can find if we return. Uh, mm. You, young dwarf, Port de Mali is further inland. We can head there within a few days, but I would plan on staying around to find this treasure that these Sahuagan have unearthed. What Ugh. treasure do you speak of? Um, I'm unaware of any. Have you ever heard of a Sahuagan that could sink an island? Not that I recall. Actually, can I roll a history check? Sure. They Anybody did. who's heard this can roll a history check if they want to. They did know about it happening. Nine, apparently. Man, I'm just rolling bad today. Thanks. Thanks. At least you hit. Did anybody do good? No. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you've you've heard fairy tales and stories of some destroying and raiding villages, but yeah, nothing of an island being sunk into the ocean. Uh, no, I'm and is afraid that, I don't know. Is that, is that why they um Oh, I don't know. If 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 Mog is talking to her, then he wants to like to know what her name is and stuff and what she likes. <laughs> Okay, um... Ever, apparently. She turns to you and kind of gestures towards everybody uh, with her um, unarmed hand. <laughs> uh, my name is Captain Three Earrings, and this is my ship, the Wave Chaser. I, I am Mog. I am Mog. I'm here with my family. Uh, he's, he's speaking, you know, in Tabaxi, but... He's like, I'm Mog. I'm here with my family. I'm a, I'm a swordsman. And this is my family. And he, he, oh, well, he just points him out and he's like, oh, we are a circus together traveling. We were from the wildlands, you know, the graying wildlands. Can you roll like, you got to roll something to flirt with your parents being there. <laughs> All right. That's a, that's a hard check. I've made that check before and that, 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 that's a, that's, that's a, a tough sell. Charisma. All right, I'll do. Yeah, that. well, you're a bard. You got it. You got yeah, it. Yeah. What performance? Uh, depending on how you're selling up this uh, talk, it can be uh, persuasion or performance or just straight charisma. Well, if it's performance, then that's an eighteen. Because yeah, I'm performing for this. Uh, I mean, your family's also there. It could awesome be a little bit of sight sexy sea captain, pirate captain, whatever she is. I mean, she's awesome. So I'm performing. It's an eighteen. Okay. Uh, she smiles politely at you hmm. and says, your family looks strong. You survive, so you must be strong. So you will be perfect to help with this treasure. Uh, it's a strange thing to say, but thank you. So, all right, so... I haven't really heard of Swag and Sinking Islands, uh, assuming they unearthed some kind of uh, magical item to do so. Perhaps we should turn it into like a academia setting or a museum of sorts. Like, what do we do with the treasure once we get it? I'll step. I I fly down from the crow's nest and say, "You keep you uh, that." <laughs> that is not exactly what you do with treasure. No, no, that's what you do with an artifact. A treasure you keep or you sell for more coin. Totally out of academic interest, what's the difference between a treasure and an artifact? How much money you can get. Are you new here? What? The uh, three earrings uh, speaks up. You are both right and wrong. Especially I'm... on this ship. The treasure we do sell, or you could, if you're a law-abiding citizen of the Empire, turn it into a armory or a museum. But we will be using this for our reputation. 
My uh, character seems confused, but it is quietly listening. Uh, wait. At the mention of this, uh, Rainer steps over and goes, "Wait, wait, wait. Re- re- reputation? Like, you want to be seen? Uh, we got to get going. We got. We can't be. We have to lay low." Oh, I completely forgot about you. I need. Uh, yes, the the mention of treasure got me distracted from the real important. What's up with you, son? You you wildly fascinating and terrifying. I want to know everything and then nothing at the same time yeah. about you. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's just a human, right? Listen, let just me tell you, a let human. Me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Yeah. The Sagwin are not the issue here. The real thing that is behind the strings, there is a there's a small cabal of people who are controlling everything behind do you think the Sagwan are sinking ships? No, no. It's really the king, but it's really the power behind the king. <laughs> like my character kind of gets a sarcastic look across her face as she oh. slowly realizes the kind of person she's dealing with. And what she'll a... say sarcastically, oh, and I guess Tiamat that was an inside job, huh? And I, I pull out a cigarette and I take a long... <sighs> Damn right it was. <laughs> Oh God, we got a QAnon redditor. <laughs> no. I go. All right. <laughs> so the Can captain looks a job. very perplexed at this conversation, and she's like, "Either way, we're going to sail away from the island of pull as it's pulled underwater." Incognito. And uh, Flora Isle and the rest of Palma Flora grows even smaller in the horizon as a wave chaser cuts through the choppy waters of the Ocidian Ocean. Several refugees from the village are huddled on the deck, others within the hold of the ship, while the crew tends to the vessel. Uh, you are left to talk with each other, learn about each other, or talk with the captain more, uh, or call it a night. But at any way you do it, you level up to level two. Oh yeah! Hey. All right. We uh the the family band is uh all just like immediately pulls out our instruments and we all start kind of playing as like a sea shanty song. I'm probably seeing um drawing out my stuff and drawing out this very ancient looking spell book. Um, in addition to that, um, since you know I'm falling asleep on the decks because I figured out if I have to share a room, I'll sleep for the twilight. Or the night sky can see me. I will, uh... So the way my character sleeps is she gets into what looks like an Elvis trance, then kind of just slouches backwards snoring. That's fantastic. I... I... Justin, why? (laughs) What what chaos have you chosen? Why Why have you kept this from us for so long? A bard's got a bard. I pull out my pan flute and play along. (laughs) (laughs) I we can't there. For some reason, it wasn't playing. Yeah, it's like out of the range of your microphone. (laughs) That's hard to pull out really fast. Yeah, that's what she (laughs) said. That's what she said. I think I'm going to give that one to Anita. Yeah. She, she I was barely. louder, but she was faster. I need a concertina. <laughs> All right. Um, as far as H- health points go, um, up until level three, just take the max of what your uh, dice roll would be so that you're all less squishy. Oh, yeah. Um. All right. Wait, did you say we're level two? You're level two now. Yes. Fear me. (laughs) Hell yes. I feel like I know (laughs) nothing about you. I wish I could hear that better. It's not coming in on the uh, microphone. We need to go back to a bar pretty soon. This is great. 
survived got me oh yeah surge you all survived congratulations i'll take it oh that was my uh that was my song arrest that i learned when i got to level two <laughs> oh, yeah hell yeah it was awesome right. see y'all saturday sometime oh uh yeah there's one shot possibly in there see you saturday oh, by the by the way oh yeah um that reminds me. Uh, any questions for Saturday's adventure that we need to answer right now? Nope. All right. I think that covers everything then. Hell yeah. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't directly tie into the Icewind Dale campaign other than a small detail on my character's backstory. But nope. it's up to the DM how much importance it has, if any. I thought you were the DM. Yeah. Icewind Dale was frozen in time. And you. What, what, cannot what, be touched. What, what I'm doing is what I call guest DMing, where I do a one shot in someone else's world, and they decide mm. how much impact it has on their world or not. Uh, all right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he seems cool with it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Well, let's see, let's fuck it up. As long as yeah, we I, don't nuke I, the world. I, I, I'm going to be well, forced. I didn't understand the concept until just now, but okay, got it. Yeah, yeah I don't think cool. well, it takes like 20 years in the past. So unless it causes a time paradox, I don't I don't think there's any worry. There like is, some Bill and Ted shit. I there guess is the possibility of that. If the time paradox the paradox is caused, it's not canon. And everyone just had fun. Alright. Okay. Oh, go, I don't know. Go for it, dude. Go nuts. Alright. Alright. See ya. Get weird. Get weird. Alright. Y'all have a good night. Don't tell me what to do. Yep.